Hello, namaste, hola, guten tag. Welcome to the second episode of Explore Lux, where we pop open a new object every week just to show you guys how it works. Today is a very special episode of Explore Lux as we have our first guest on the channel. As you must have seen in the news recently, India and China have had a violent face-off on the LAC, and tensions between India and China are at an all-time high. A face-off between the two countries has never been more likely in the past few decades. Today, we're going to talk about the Indian Rafael and the Chinese J20. Before we start, I would like to introduce you to our guest. He's the son of a naval fighter pilot, the grandson of a Veer Chakra winning Air Force officer. He's been around airplanes since he was a baby, a fighter jet enthusiast. I would like to welcome my friend Sahil Garu. Thank you Ayush, it's great to be here. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The Chengdu J-20 is a single-seat multi-role stealth fighter for air-to-air, air-to-ground combat roles with supersonic cruise speed and integrated avionics which was first test flown on January 11, 2011. The Dassault Rafale is a French twin-engine, delta-wing, multi-role fighter aircraft equipped with a wide range of weapons, which we'll talk about later. The role of the Rafale is to perform air supremacy missions like interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, and even nuclear deterrence. The J-20 has state-of-the-art stealth technology within its system and design which allows it to avoid radar detection. This gives it an edge in missions which involve going behind enemy lines and combat scenarios. The J-20 is classified as a 5th generation fighter jet whereas a Rafale is a 4th plus generation aircraft. Now coming to generations. Fighter aircrafts are classified based on their generation numbers. Originally, aircrafts with higher speeds or more advanced armaments were given higher generation numbers. However, in this case, the Chengdu is a generation 5, whereas the Rafale is 4.5. That's because the Chengdu has superior stealth capabilities as compared to the Rafale. The speeds and the armaments on both the aircrafts are not uh, significantly di different in terms of capability. It's highly likely that a fighter with a lower generation number is able to take on a more advanced adversary. This happened when the MiG-21 Bison of the Indian Air Force um, shot down the F-16 Falcon of the Pakistani Air Force. So this happened even though the MiG-21B is a second generation aircraft, whereas the F-16 was a fourth generation aircraft. The J-20 is developed and manufactured by Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group. It is 20.3 meters long, has a height of 4.45 meters and a wingspan of 12.88 meters. The fighter's range is about 1200 kilometers, which can be increased up to 2700 kilometers with external fuel tanks. The aircraft can fly at a maximum speed of 2100 kilometers per hour, about 1.8 mark, and its climbing rate is 304 meters per second. So, coming to specifications, the Rafale has a length of 15.3 meters and a height of 4.5 meters. It can reach speeds up to 1.8 mark. 1 mark is basically the speed of sound. It has a maximum range of 2700 kilometers. However, the range of an aircraft depends on the weight of the aircraft and the weight is determined by the armament it carries or the amount of fuel it's carrying. So a loaded Rafale has a combat range of approximately 1600 kilometers, depending on the weapons package. The J-20 is equipped with two lateral bays with four hardpoints each for air-to-air -air missiles, while the fuselage has a larger bay under it for carrying missiles and other weapons. Hard points are locations on the jet where armament and external drop tanks or fuel tanks can be attached onto the jet. Since the Chengdu is a stealth fighter, it carries a majority of its arms internally in its bomb base so as to maintain stealth and avoid radar detection. The main weapon bay is capable of housing both short and long range air to air missiles. The PL 9, PL 15, and PL 21 are such examples while the two other small lateral weapon bays behind the air inlets are intended for short-range air-to-air missiles like the PL-10. The Chinese also claim that the J-20 has a passive electro-optical detection system which gives the pilot 360-degree coverage. The fighter has technology that can access real-time data from Chinese military satellites and other unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. 
The Rafale has a total of 14 hard points, more than the J20. These can carry a range of arms and drop tanks. The Rafale is set apart by the Meteor missile it carries. They are beyond visual range air to air active missiles with an operational range of approximately 100 kilometers. The radar present on the missile itself allows it to seek other enemy jets and target them and hit them accurately without the jets even realizing that they are being targeted. The J-20 has a similar missile in the P-15 indigenous missile. Rafale also has a world-class electronic warfare suite in the form of the Spectra system. This assists pilots to instantly select the most effective defensive measures against airborne threats. China claims to have 50 J-20s in its fleet, but the project itself has not been transparent. Therefore, there are a lot of doubts over the reliability of claims that China has made. China claims that Chengdu J-20 possesses superior stealth capabilities. However, an unverified instance wherein a Su-30 of the IAF spotted a J-20 on its radar adds to the suspicions over the true extent of the jet's capabilities. Unlike the Rafael, the Chengdu J-20 has never been deployed in combat environments. Therefore, its actual utility in one is unknown. Unlike pilots of the PLAAF, the Indian pilots are more involved in collaborative training exercises with other air forces giving them a more varied experience. This experience can be useful in a potential dogfight scenario. Dogfights is a term used for face-to-face -face confrontation between enemy aircrafts. Although these were very common back in the day, with newer technology such as beyond visual range missiles, their possibility and significance has reduced. Therefore, it is unlikely that these two aircrafts will ever engage with each other directly. The outcome of an air conflict between the air forces of India and China will not be solely based on the performance of these two aircrafts. Both uh, air forces have other fighters such as the Su-30s of India and the J-10s of China. At the end of the day, military strategy, execution of plans and professionalism and the valour of men in uniforms will dictate the result. So this my friends brings us to the end of the video. I hope that this video gave you an insight into the comparison between an Indian Rafale and a Chinese J-20. Special thanks to my friend Sahil Garud for joining me today on Explotalux. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment down below what you would like me to pop open next. See ya, Jai Hind.